Wow, guys, J.D. Vance destroys the CNN reporter. Check this out. Joining us now, Republican Senator from Ohio, J.D. Vance. His name has come up as a potential Trump running mate. Senator Vance, thanks so much for joining us. Are you yep. interested in being the running mate of a convicted felon? Well, Wolf, the, the entire purpose of this trial was to allow the media and the Democrats to say exactly that. This is never about justice. This is about plastering convicted felon all over the airwaves, when in reality, the only thing that Trump, Donald Trump is guilty of is being in the courtroom of a political sham trial. This from jury the judges, was approved by the Trump fr lawyers. Fr from you the, would acknowledge that, right? Look, Wolf, the, the, pro the Trump lawyers the, the approved problem, the, the 12 men and women, the six alternates in the jury. My complaint is not with the jury, Wolf. My complaint is with the judge, with the jury instructions that were clearly reversible, with the fact that the judge had donated to a to the Biden campaign, right. which which should force a recusal under the New York rules for the judge. The fact that his daughter has gotten he wealthy off of this. He donated $15 in 2020 and for the campaign. To stop Donald $15. Trump. $15. Wolf, to explicitly stop Donald Trump. Please let me answer the question. This judge committed multiple elements of reversible error, and he did it while his daughter has made a ton of money off of Democratic candidates and while he himself donated to the Biden campaign. So let me repeat you the question. Can, you cannot say that this trial was anything more than politics masquerading as justice. And yes, I will help Whatever Donald Trump. Happened. I will help Donald Trump. However, I think that I can, Wolf, because if we allow this to happen, it's so much bigger and so much more troubling than Donald Trump. If we allow the standard that you can throw your political opponents in jail because they're doing better than you in an election, it will be the end of this country as we know it. So you don't think this was a fair trial at all? No, Wolf, I do not think it was a fair trial at all. And more importantly, again, everybody's focusing on Donald Trump. Understandably, well, he's, he's, he's convicted un now. Understandably, but, but the principle that we're establishing applies across our politics. We're basically saying that if you don't like the outcome of an election or you don't like how an election is about to transpire, you can try to throw your opponent in jail. Wolf, the entire this predicate wasn't a, here this wasn't is a, a trial paperwork organized violation. by Biden. This was a trial organized by New York City, the district attorney in Manhattan. After the number three person in the Biden Department of Justice joined that prosecutor's office and then goes after Biden's political opponent, this absolutely is connected to Joe Biden. Wolf, beyond that, you had Robert De Niro showing up at a Biden campaign rally on the day of jury instructions. This is politics written all over it. Do you agree with Trump with what he just said? Because this jumped out at me. I thought it was obnoxious. When he said, we're living in a fascist state. Is the United States a fascist state? Wolf, I served uh, in, in Iraq in the United States Marine Corps. I have multiple family members who served our country. Were you outraged when he country. said that, when, when Trump said I that? I am outraged at this entire proceeding, but are you Wolf, outraged not at that Donald Trump Trump's calls, criticism of it. Trump is calling the United States of America the greatest country in the world. Wolf isn't even letting him finish his points. This whole entire case was just a sham to distract you from what they were trying to do. I can't even believe the U.S. allowed this to happen, guys. But well, let's keep going. In the world, a fascist state. Are after, you okay with that? After the president of the United States Are you uses okay the power that? of the courts and his his power so you agree as president with him that we live to in a throw fascist state? his opponents in jail, I think this is disgraceful. I don't care what that you call Trump it. Trump is Wolf. disgraceful. Is I, that what you're saying? I think this proceeding, this legal proceeding, is disgraceful. But Wolf. what about and Trump calling care. our country a fascist They're state? They're trying to throw him in prison for a paperwork violation, by a, Wolf. By his peers. After the Other judge after the judge gave those jury biased instructions, after that judge donated to, to, to Donald Trump's political opponent, of course he's going to be frustrated, and he has every right to be. I don't care what you call this, but this is not the America that I know and love. Why aren't we talking about inflation, Wolf? Why aren't we talking about Biden's wide-open southern border? We're talking this about history This entire trial Trump? was cooked up to distract Senator, from Senator, Joe Biden's failures. With all due respect, we're talking about this because this is the first president or former president i literally just said that the, the entire case was just to distract you so you can't see what joe biden is really doing he well what he wasn't doing he wasn't doing anything so that so that's my mistake on word choice let's keep going in American history to be convicted of felonies. So let's talk about precedents. He's convicted of a literal paperwork violation. He's that is the predicate. 34 felonies. That is a, all of them paperwork violations rule. A single, single paperwork violation, and they drew 34 felonies out of it. That should really bother you, whether you're a Democrat or Republican. Now let's talk about precedents. Six years ago, Hillary Clinton played, paid $113,000 that was misclassified as a legal expense. That's the exact same thing that Donald Trump is accused of. Hillary Clinton got a slap on the wrist and a fine from the FEC. 
Donald Trump has had 34 felony indictments. It's so obvious that this is about politics, Wolf. And, and, and I understand the questions here, but if we allow this to continue, we are going to wake up in a banana republic where we try to throw people in jail instead of winning an argument in our let, politics. Let me read That's to not you. what I want. I don't think it's what you want either. Let me read to you what former uh, Maryland governor and currently Republican Senate candidate Larry Hogan said uh, going into all of this. He said uh, he appealed to the public for calm, asked Americans, and I'm quoting him now, to respect the verdict and legal process and to not pour fuel on the fire with more toxic partisanship. This was met by... Uh, a response from a senior Trump campaign official who just said to Larry Hogan, you just ended your campaign. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with the fact that we need to criticize and call this ridiculous legal proceeding out. Larry Hogan's trying to win a Senate race in a blue seat. Obviously, I disagree with Larry Hogan. The problem is not criticizing the sham prosecution. The problem is the sham prosecution itself, and we need leadership to call it out. It sounds to me like you're totally, totally in, in supporting uh, Trump right now. And Wolf, everything that he's done, all of the accusations that have been leveled against them. Wolf, I am absolutely supporting Trump because I think he will make American pe the American people's lives better. But again, this is so much bigger to me than Donald Trump. I woke up heartbroken for our country because the precedent set is that if you don't like somebody's politics, you should use the American system of law and order to try and destroy them. What That's 250 Senator. years of legal tradition. The Biden folks are tearing it up to win an election, Wolf. And, and what they're not trying to tell you is America was a, was just respected globally when when he was in office. But now you have Biden in office, and we're just like a laughing stock to the whole entire world. People are sneaking cruise ships in. There's illegals crossing the border, killing people, taking jobs. Like I can't say that word. And it's just insane to me that they wait four years, four years to bring these charges right before the election. It, it's it's a shame. Let's keep going, guys. That is what really bothers Whatever me. Whatever happened to the Republican Party being the party of law and order? We are the party of law and order, well, but you can't have well, law this, and order if this you have judges. president has been convicted 34 well, times law and of, order, of violating law. Law and order is not having a judge who donates to the political opposition of Donald Trump and then tries to throw Donald Trump in jail. That's the opposite of law and order. $15 donation. A $15 donation combined with, he said that he wanted to fight Donald Trump. His daughter has made almost $100 million fundraising for Democrats, Wolf. Every single thing about this points to the fact that this was a political sham prosecution. Now, it's, again, it's not just the judge's financial interests, his commitment to Democrats, multiple reversible errors. Why didn't they change the venue? Why didn't the judge give accurate jury instructions? Why didn't they charge him with something more than a paperwork violation? The entire argument of this case is that Donald Trump should go to prison because an employee of his filled out paperwork well, the wrong believe, way? Well, you, this is disgraceful. Do you believe that the, his employees, with his knowledge, were trying to cover up an affair with Stormy Daniels in order of, this is just a few weeks before the election? I believe that Donald Trump did nothing wrong, but if you take Alvin Bragg's argument, if you take every single thing in that indictment at face value, what it suggests is Donald Trump committed a paperwork violation. Is that 34 felony counts? Not in the country that I want to live in, not in the United States so, of America so that I know and love. You don't want to live in the United States? I don't want to live in a New York sham prosecution. I would not live in New York State right now. Absolutely, I wouldn't. Wolf, because what New York has showed and what, frankly, the Biden administration has showed is that if you don't do exactly what they want you to do in politics, they will try to use our system, bipartisan system of law and order to throw you in prison. And guys, that's literally what they're trying to do. They're trying to destroy Trump's name, trying to make anything he says not valid so they can get their guy in there. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react. <laughs> We're out.